from Pentagon Solutions and I want to take a look at a very common issue when applying external references. External references in AutoCAD are files that are referenced in a drawing. And you can simply do this through the XREF Manager and you go to Attach. When you pick up your external reference, you've got an option for full path, relative or no path. By default, it's on full path, which means it's looking for the full UNC, Universal Naming Convention, path for your server. The problem is if your server moves or if it's renamed, etc. in there. And this is where relative path is more useful. Well, I'm going to keep this X reference as full path. Just a quick tip as well, you can see that the transparency in 2012 carries across on the external references. So I'm going to save that external reference file. I've got several references in there. And I'm going to quit out of the application. So physically, after I quit out the application, I'm going to look at the directory where all that data is. Um, it's under a CAD management folder. And I'm going to simply drag this to a separate location, just on my hard disk. So in theory, or in practice, the actual data has physically moved. So we'll open up product again. This time I'm using AutoCAD MEP 2012. Um, do please check out some of my other videos uh, for MEP, even Revit. Just a bit of a plug while that's loading up. Okay, so let's open that drawing again. So the drawing has physically moved location. So it's moved from my desktop to my C drive under management. If I look in X reference, I'll see my external references. Immediately as I go in, it has lost the reference files. Because they weren't relative, they're looking for the full path to my desktop. So I'm going to ignore and continue. And if you're an AutoCAD user and use external references, you're probably used to this quite a bit. Well, how can we fix this? This can be fixed very easily by using a tool that's not very commonly known called the Reference Manager. I created a shortcut on my desktop. But you can simply access the Reference Manager through Start Programs on your Autodesk product. So if I go into my Reference Manager, you can see it here on the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to my hard disk, go to my CAD Management Directory, look at my external reference, and physically drag my X reference file in. It'll ask me do I want to add in nested references, I'm going to go yes. So I can simply see all my external references that are broken. Well, if I select the ones that I know in a certain folder, I can go Edit Selected Paths. And it will actually give me the current path. I can then browse to my new path, but the problem is that's still absolute. I want to make this relative. So what I do is I take it back to the the highest folder, which is my map directory, put in dot backslash and then the folder name and hit OK and it resolves them. Do the same for my other path. That's now an overlay directory. Hit the dot backslash overlay and it finds it. When you quit out, save the changes. And it'll apply the changes. Once we do this, we'll open up AutoCAD again. Change has been applied. Go back into my product. When I want to go back into my product and I look at this folder again, and um, it will refine all the X references. Not only that, any time I move that folder um, or move the files locations, it will be relative from now on. So it's provided the files are still in the same folder, um, but you're moving the location, say from server to server, or from your hard disk to your desktop, or someone else's PC, it will still look for that folder map, and it will still look for the folder overlay. So we're going to the product. Find my X reference. Now all my X references are found. So it's a very, very easy tip using Reference Manager to actually make your absolute lost references back to relevant.